Hello everyone. So in our computer networks class, we're going to be using C instead of C++. Now C++ is a superset of C, so anything that you can do in C, you can do in C++, but not vice versa. C is actually a lot simpler, um, but there are certain things that we need to learn how to translate into this context. And one of them is memory management. So if I were in C++ and I wanted to say, make an array of 10 elements, and I, I wanted them to be ints, I would have said something like this. Well, let's check out though and see what would happen if I were to try to compile this in C. So it doesn't like this because it has no idea what new is, okay? But again, C and C++, very similar concepts. We can certainly still do not dynamic memory allocation, but we have to do it a different way. So rather than using the new keyword, what we're gonna say is something called malloc. Okay, so there's a method called malloc, M-A-L-L-O-C. And what I, what I need to pass it is the number of bytes that I need to use in my dynamic memory allocation. So in this case, I want an integer array with 10 elements. Um, each int is four bytes. So I would say 10 times four. So that, that's very important. I don't just wanna say malloc 10. I want to say 10 times the number of bytes in each element in my array. So in this case, 40 bytes is what I would need if I wanted an int array of 10 elements. So just to show you now, this, this compiles all right. Of course, it does warn me that I haven't used this variable. But there is a problem, of course. Um, I allocated some dynamic memory on the heap, and I didn't free it. So if I were to run this through a memory leak, detector like on, on Unix um, Valgrind, for example, then I would see that I have 40 bytes lost, okay? Because I never deallocated them. Now in C++, you would have written something like delete array. But I'm already nervous because my syntax highlighter didn't change that, that keyword there. It's probably not gonna work. And, and same thing, it doesn't know the word delete. But actually, in, in C, it's quite simple. You just say free, and then you pass it the pointer to the beginning of the chunk of memory that was allocated. So I just, I just do that, and that's all I need to do. So let's try that again. And now when I do val grind, it says all heap blocks are free. Excellent. Okay. Now, this times four, that's a bit of a magic number. How do I know that an int is four bytes? I mean, it should be, but maybe someday somebody changes their mind and, and they make it eight bytes. Um, that could happen in the future. And also, I don't want to have to remember that. And I don't like magic numbers. So a better thing to do is to use this built-in functionality in C, which, which says size of. And so in this case, I will say size of int. And, and this will actually on my computer evaluate to four. But now I've written it in a more general way where I can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm saying I want to have 10 chunks of four bytes. And, and that's what I want to, want to have here. So, so nothing has changed about this program. I'll still see when I run Valgrind that there, that there were 40 bytes allocated. But that's just a more elegant way to do it. Okay, so, so one more thing I want to point out also is if I go to the man pages, so by the way, one of the things that's really cool about C is it's very close to like the operating system. And so you can actually look up all these methods in the man pages in your terminal. So you don't have to go to Google. Actually, you don't even have to be online. I'm like, I want to know something more about, about malloc. Okay, let me just type man malloc in the terminal. And so I see, first of all, okay, in order to use malloc, I have to include stdlib.h, which I did already, so that's good. But yeah, the other thing I wanted to point out here is that malloc's return type is a void star, a void pointer. Malloc does not know how you're going to use this memory. It just knows how many bytes you're asking for, that's it. So it doesn't know what, what type the pointer should be. Now, it, everything gets taken care of here, but, but I, it's good practice to cast that pointer to the type that, that you're gonna be using. So here I know it's supposed to be a integer, so it's a pointer to an integer block of memory. 
So that, that's good practice. Malik doesn't know that, so it's just going to return a void star. Always good to, to cast it there. All right, but, but that's all I wanted to tell you now. So I'll have you do a quick, quick exercise with this. But yeah, just remember and see it's Malik and Free.